Ladies and gentlemen, I know, I know, it's been like two, three weeks. But to be fair, I've been missing for like two, three weeks on both channels, not just this channel. But as the title suggests, hopefully y'all can see it, I did trade two more of my slabbed cards, which you'll see right there, for this Omega God mystery box, or so I've been told. Now, before the video even starts, let me know down in the comments, do you think that I'll get my money's worth in this box or not? Let me know. <laughs> Let's find out and see what's inside. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully y'all are having an absolutely wonderful, beautiful, and an amazing day. Now, as I did mention, I'm so sorry. I've literally just been not been able to record anything for the last two weeks. Um, this is genuinely, I'm filming this July 29th. 2024 and i'm uploading this the same day hopefully but it's just i i've had no time and it's been crazy but I, i'm glad to finally be back in front of the camera i'm not gonna lie to you it feels awkward this is awkward ladies and gentlemen i also did just update a lot of singles and slabs on the store so if you want to check out the store there's a lot of new stuff um on dk's card shop i haven't updated it in like six months and it finally got updated so yeah <laughs> <laughs> Finally! But as the title suggests, ladies and gentlemen, I did receive this Omega God Alpha Mystery Box, according to my buddy that I always make trades for. And I traded a PSA 10 Pikachu and Ash Trainer Gallery Red and Pikachu Trainer Gallery card from Cosmic Clips, and I traded the Gardenia's Vigor. Um, and a PSA 10 as well. So those two PSA 10 slabs for this mystery box. So what I'm going to do is, as we always do, we'll open this bad boy up. And I always appreciate him for sending me this kind of stuff. He's like, yo, let's do some more trades. I'm like, against my better judgment, sure. It's a trap. So we will see. The last box wasn't the greatest, but apparently he, he prepared this one. He's like, this one's good. This one, bro, this one's really good. I'm like, fine. Fine, fine, I will trust you again, as I do for some reason, and we'll see what, according to you, this Omega God mystery box has. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have the contents of the box. Let me zoom out for you, beautiful people at home. Look at that. Wonderful. There we go. Look at that. Wrapping. Okay, so let's take this out. Okay, so once again... Back in the days of the Obsidian Flames or the Only Flames, let's go Charizard. So I'm hoping there's a Charizard in here. Let's hope so. Let's rip this open here. What is inside? Okay. A toy. Okay. S Nani? <laughs> what? <laughs> Just, what kind of junk did you send me? Oh my god. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not doing this anymore. This is ridiculous. All right, let's see. Okay. Um, all right, so he gave me Jirachi pins, which I have a lot of these, actually. I've opened so many. He actually gave me a lot of pins. I still have all my pins, so... Oh, I don't have this. I don't have this pin. I also have... I think I have this Lugia pin. I'm not sure. But I am... I, I will take these pins. Real talk. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not... I'm, I'm a fan of these pins, and he just gave me all of the same pins. I was hoping they'd be slightly different. Two hours later. More pins. Okay, I think that's enough of the pins now. Okay, so he also gave me this. It is a peach gummy candy. Luckily for you, my friend, I haven't brushed my teeth just yet, so let's try this out. It is pretty... It's not hard, but it's not soft either. It's, it's like... I feel like my jaws are gonna break. Am I hoping? I'm hoping when it gets softer, it starts tasting better. Two hours later. It's not. He also gave me Charizard coins. Very cool. I have so many coins that I just don't use. Um, he also gave me this. Okay, I don't know what this is, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is, but it is green tea, and oh my days. I think it's green tea. I think it's green tea. It's like a U-shaped green tea quesadilla cracker. Fun fact, I hate green tea. So this is going to be great. Hmm. 
Yep, still don't like green tea. It had a good taste of chocolate for a second, and then the green tea flavor kicked in. Then I was like, hard pass. He did give me this. Um. This is gonna be edited out, depending on what this is, what's in here. Got it. So they these are he gave me gloves. He gave me gloves, gloves. For <laughs> why? Jim, I gotta tell you. So far, this was so worth trading my two PSA 10 slabs. So so worth. And he gave me an allure. <laughs> you sweaty AF nasty. Chanel E de Toilette spray. Very. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Okay. Okay. Chanel? Okay, it's a Chanel spray. Home... Homey sport spray by Chanel. Oh, that's good. It smells good. Best thing so far. <laughs> that's not bad. That's not bad. That smells pretty good. Is this like... Is, is this a re-gift? He also gave me a webcam, an N60 webcam. I don't know why. <laughs> Did you just, or do you just have junk laying around and you're just like, just give all the junk to DK? Oh, 1080p full HD webcam. Like, comment, subscribe, and someone's going to win this webcam, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I, just, I just don't know what to do with it. It's a webcam made in China. Of course, he gave me this gum, which we already know what the gum is. It's okay, but it lasts for five seconds in terms of flavor. So there are some Pokemon cards in here. Um, yeah, and some other cards in here. He also sent me basketball cards and a Pokemon slab. So there's there's two slabs he sent me this time. Hopefully they're good, but we'll save this for last. You know what? This is pretty cool. He sent me an Iron Giant... He sent me an Iron Giant patch. Very interesting. So I could... Uh, use this patch... On my clothes. Actually, it's pretty cool. It's like Velcro-y though. I don't know where I'd put this patch, but it's pretty cool. I'm a huge fan of the Iron Giant. One of my favorite movies back in the day. And um, here's the... He also sent me a water luminous silky cocoon mask. It's Korean. I'm not going to lie to you, though. My skin's very, very sensitive and reacts to everything in a negative way. This is something that I might just give to my wife. Um, in terms of the basketball cards, I, I'm assuming these are all Dookie Sauce. And he sent me bulk basketball cards again. Look at that. So he sent me a Jason Tatum, Joel Embiid. Oh, so these are all, like, they're all big boys, okay? Oh, Zion Williamson's definitely a big boy. And is this Chet Holmgren? Is this are these rookie cards? What is this? Why are they green? I don't know any. Oh, Kevin Love, obviously. Dirk Nowitzki has retired for ages. Devontae Graham, Caleb Martin, J Paul Pierce, the truth. And uh, yeah. Oh, we got Rui Hachimura. Very interesting. And yeah, lots of just I'm assuming bulk cards. KG, the big ticket. <laughs> But I think these are just bulk cards, unless any of these are numbered or something, but I, I doubt he would send me anything, like, necessarily, like, hugely valuable. Maybe this one, it's, it's not, none of these are numbered, so, I, I don't know, bro. Are these all just bulk? <laughs> you just sent me bulk? Trash! Okay, so that was the, um, Omega Alpha God box, and then he also sent me these cards here. Um, I don't know what these are, but they, there are singles in here, and there's, uh, packs, which are probably dead packs, I'm assuming, unless they're heavy packs, which, would he send me a heavy pack? I don't think so. Why? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, so he double taped this as well. What a way to do a video after two and a half weeks just being gone. Opening up this just random not Pokemon box. Here we go. Okay, so here we go. Let's start with whatever this is because it's not a Pokemon card. That is trash. 
Why Swartz? I, I, unyielding tenacity, I can't read, unyielding tenacity, Juna Hoshimi. Very cool. I don't know what that is. And, ladies and gentlemen, that is a huge win. <laughs> that is not bad. That is what we're talking about. This man is a very, very good, like, he has a very good eye for cards and grading. Um, I don't know. Is this, like, is this grade worthy, bro? Can you just DM me? Let me know if this is, like, a PSA 10 worthy. I've always wanted a PSA 10 from my personal collection. Is this, is this PSA 10 possible? Y'all take a look at it and let me know. I would love for it to be, but uh, maybe, I don't know. But he has a really good eye, so I don't know if he would send me a PSA 10 worthy card, but this is... It's one of my favorite cards. I have one, but it's really off-centered. Very, very off-centered. So that's a really good card. Very cool. I will cherish this card. I don't know what the value of this card is anymore, but I think it's like, when I last looked, it was like 30, 40 bucks. But Silver Tempest, with all the craziness that happened with it, that's a win of a card. One nice Pokemon card out of everything we've opened so far. And, of course, let's open up these um, things here. OG Violet Booster Packs, ladies and gentlemen. Can we pull something crazy from here? I think Miriam is the main chase in this OG pack, but I feel like he sent me dead packs. <laughs> I'm 99% sure he sent me dead packs. I could be wrong. Prove me wrong, bro. Prove me right, bro. And then two more packs of these dead <laughs> Scarlet Violet, Violet EX Booster Packs. Um, okay, that's- I'm so good at opening packs, clearly. It's been way too long. Let's see! Oh! S not the deadest of packs, but still pretty dead. And we have one final pack here. We got an Arcanine EX. That's not the worst thing in the world, but it's just a regular EX card. So what are the chances we pull at least like an AR? <laughs> So far, this has been so fun. This has been a great opening. The candies, the deodorant, not the deodorant, the body spray, the face mask, and just the random bulk basketball cards. It's just been so fun. This has been a great trade, bro. All for two PSA 10 slabs. Let's see what this is. Let's see what this is all about. So this is, there's something more in here. Um, I gotta get scissors, I think, for this. Okay. And uh, this is, this is, this is great. This is exactly why I, I became a YouTuber to open up. Uh, a, a Pokemon channel YouTuber to open up this, whatever this is. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we have some MTG Phyrexia All Will Be One Collector Japanese boxes of 15 cards. Magic the Gathering. Did you did you really just send me Magic the Gathering booster packs? Like actually, and they're in Japanese. Ooh. Brother. Ooh. What's that? And he also sent me more Magic the Gathering booster packs and some sleeves from Liker Overture. Like, is are these just sleeves or is there a card in here as well? I don't understand. There, okay, so there is a card in here, but these are sleeves. But there's only like 30 sleeves. Or no, this is like a really thin pack of sleeves. What am I supposed to do with this? We are an opening channel, so we're opening these Japanese Magic Dominaria Remastered Booster Packs. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you ever wanted to make a deal with me, let me know, and maybe we can make a deal. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know if any of these cards are worth anything. Because, okay, this, there's, they're, they're hollows. They're hollows. Um, they're hollows. They're hollows. <laughs> <laughs> what what am I looking at? What is this? <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not gonna trash any of these just yet. Y'all let me know in the comments. Is anything worth it in the packs that I'm opening for these Japanese magic cards? Because I literally don't know what I'm looking at here. I feel like some of these like maybe they're rare. I can't tell what the there's like regular hollows and oh maybe that's something I, don't, I can't I can't I can't tell. Is there maybe on the bottom common? Okay, so they have use common common common. Okay, so on the bottom corner they say C C uncommon uncommon. There's nothing there. There's nothing here either. But I'm looking at the bottom to see if it's like common uncommon. 
Rare. I think this one says rare. What? T. This is T. So this is... Th this is T. You see that? It's T. Stands for tight. It's tight. And, um, ladies and gentlemen, we're doing another one here. I don't know what compelled him to send me Magic the Gathering packs. And on top of that, Japanese Magic the Gathering packs. Because I clearly can read Japanese. But here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we got another T card. It's tight. And, oh, rare. That looks fancy schmancy, bro. But then, once again, this... Uncommon. Common? I... I don't know what I'm looking at. This is an L, so it's a huge loss. Yeah, that's what that is. Uncommon. Uh-huh. Yep. I totally know what I'm looking at. This is a great opening. Magic the Gathering cards. And another one of these T's that are tight. Is there... Am I... What am I... Oh, dude. This one looks fancy, though. I don't know, bro. This card looks... Fancy. The D-Gen inside me is saying this is a fancy schmancy one. Let me know. I'm assuming it's fancy schmancy. I... Maybe. 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 Maybe, maybe. So I'm going to say I pulled, in terms of the artwork and stuff, I feel like uh, these are the fancy ones. But y'all let me know. Magic collectors in Japan, for whatever reason, let me know. And ladies and gentlemen, um, the final thing, which these are guaranteed to be Pokemon cards. So that's nice. So that is very, very nice. These are actually going to be Pokemon cards, for the love of God. And we'll see what these Pokemon cards are. So we'll start with this. Go from the top. Here we go. First one. Japanese Mint. So this is like a Mint 9. It should be a Mint 9. It is a Mint 9. So Reviving Legends Espeon Hollow. Very nice. At least it's not an 8. I don't like 8s. Anything 9 and below is just it's not worth collecting. But this is nice. And Espeon Hollow Reviving Legends, I don't collect vintage cards. So, let alone Japanese vintage. So, that's that's new. That's good to have to the collection. That's very interesting. Let's go into the final one here, ladies and gentlemen. It is going to be a vintage card again. Okay. I thought this card was banned. <laughs> I thought it was banned because, like, she's... You know what I mean? Just, you know, I thought I thought this was banned. But we got a 1998 Misty's Japanese... Um, I'm sorry. We got a 1998 Pokemon Japanese Misty's Tears from Hanada City Gym Deck. And the Near Mint 7. Well, to be fair, finding, like, old, old Japanese cards like this in good quality is pretty tough. And if it was at a 10, probably crazy value. But we got two... Okay, no, sorry, excuse me. We got three, four Pokemon cards that are worth something. I, I, like I said before, I'll be real with you. Every time I trade him, he does give me, like, equal value to an extent in terms of, like, the value of the cards and stuff. But I'll be real with you. I prefer 10s. <laughs> I mean, this is nice. I've never had this before. That's nice. I don't collect vintage. And then... This Ray Quads VMAX is super nice. Let me know if this could 10. If this could 10, I'll, I forgive everything. Now, I'll be real with you. The coolest thing I received today is probably is going to be this. It smells really nice. But, ladies and gentlemen, um, if you did enjoy the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you think about this trade. I think that it was definitely a trade. And it was... It was fun. It was very fun. It was great. It, it was good, but, like, there's just so much stuff I just don't need. I mean, the Iron Giant thing's pretty cool. Uh, the Iron Giant thing's really cool. Like, that's cool. Souls don't die. That's really cool. I just don't know where... Can it stick? What does it stick? What does this kind of stuff... What does this material even stick to? Just, like, fuzzy shirts? Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me know down in the comments what was your favorite thing from this Omega Mystery Alpha Box. I had a fun time opening it. I'm not, not going to lie, it was interesting. But I want to say thank y'all so much for constant love and support. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Have a great rest of y'all's day, and I will see you next time. Ooh,
eyes red 